morning class agenda for today class is to discuss about the microgrid and the operation of the microgrid how you can use the microgrid in two mode number one it is grid connected mode when the microgrid is connected to the utility grid number two islanding mode when you can use this microgrid in the islanding mode means for isolated load you can use this microgrid so first what do you mean by the microgrid so microgrid is an integration of renewable energy sources or you can say if you have micro turbine fuel cells photovoltaic and wind energy also if all these renewable energy sources are connected to some common bus and this is the isolation switch so you can say this is your microgrid combination of all the renewable energy sources this is the isolation switch you can connect it with the main grid or you can use this microgrid for for the local load so this is the concept of microgrid microgrid basically we are using as a pilot project in india so later we will implement this microgrid for the small loads for example coal is hospital or for any small colony so this is the upcoming technology so there are different types of technology are inside this microgrid for example communication different type of communication and the controlling technique for this microgrid so in this in this lecture i will discuss about the two different modes of this microgrid number one grid connected mode and number two islanding mode of operation it is grid connected mode in this mode the available power from the renewable sources it will be fed to the utility grid and you can feed the power which is coming from the solar or you can say from the renewable energy sources so you have to feed this active and reactive power because as you know solar produce only active power so this active power you have to feed in the utility grid how to feed what is the concept let's see so this is the block diagram for grid connected mode so this with rotating reference frames this is the actually control technique to control this inverter to feed the power into this utility grid basically here dc source it is pv panel so we are getting the power dc power from this panel to feed the power from dc to ac we required inverter so i am using here three phase voltage source inverter this is the filter part inductor filter and this is the grid so first i am using this pll to collect the frequency and phase of this grid so with once you know the theta of this grid because this inverter voltage and frequency it is fixed by the utility grid voltage and frequency to feed the power from inverter to the utility grid you have to change this delta because active power is directly proportional to the power angle and reactive power is directly proportional to the voltage difference this voltage and this voltage p and q if you have to feed from inverter to the grid that means this power angle should lead from this grid power angle if it is zero then it should be greater than zero i required pll to track the frequency and phase of this grid so theta now i am converting the i am tracking this voltage and current then i am converting this voltage and current this is a three phase current this is the waveform so i am converting this reference frame to the dq0 reference frame means it is in abc reference frame this is alpha beta 0 and this is dq0 basically to convert these quantity into dc quantity we need uh, this transformation from three phase to the stationary or you can say fixed dc quantity so directly you can connect from abc to dq0 with the help of this angle theta which will be given to the pll then you have to calculate the power controller p star and q star as the reference power which will be generated through the with the help of mppt so mppt will decide this reference power how much power inverter has to feed to the utility grid so from this power 
P star and Q star, you will calculate the ID star and IQ star because the current which is co coming from here IABC. So you have converted this IABC to IDQ0 actual and you are getting the reference ID star and IQ star based on the P star, P star and Q star. So then current controller is there. These are the actual currents which are being tracked from this transmission line. So this is the reference value. This is the actual value inside this current controller. PI controller is there which will try to make the current at this limit from inverter to the grid. Then again you will get some reference signal to generate the sine triangle PWM in DQ0 then again DQ0 to ABC transformation so you will get some sine wave in ABC reference frame then you will compare this sine wave with some repeating sequence so that you can generate the switching pulses to get the uh, turn on and off the switches of this three phase voltage source inverter. So this is the formula to calculate the power in the when the voltage and currents are in DQ0 reference frame. So instantaneous power P equal to Vz D into ID plus Vzq into IQ. Similarly reactive power Q equal to minus Vzd into IQ plus Vzq into ID. So you are using this formula here. Again Vzq will be zero for balanced condition. P star and Q star with the help of V star and Q star you are generating the ID reference and IQ star these are the reference. Again current controller this is the equation are provided into this current controller to generate the DQ0 reference signal. Again DQ0 to ABC to get the sine wave then comparing with uh, repeating sequence to generate the PWM pulses for this inverter then you can feed the desired power into the utility grid. For example, 500 watt. This power depends on the solar irradiance available at that time, solar irradiance and temperature. So these are the simulation result of this uh, system. It is grid connected system. You can observe here the current which is flowing from uh, inverter to utility grid. So as you can see here P star for 3 kilowatt Q star 0 you can observe the ID current and after 0 0.02 second I am changing the P star from 3 to 5 kilowatt so you can observe the transition in the current from 8.82 ampere to 14.70 ampere at here it is for 5 kilowatt and this is for 3 kilowatt. These are the parameters grid voltage 340 volt, grid frequency 50 hertz, DC link voltage I took here 6, 680 volt, filter resistance 0 0.1 ohm, filter capacitance 6.5, switching frequency 4 kilohertz, THD of uh, THD for the grid current 2.8 which I calculated, grid current 14.7 amps and 8.82 amps ID active power 5 kilowatt 3 kilowatt reactive power is 0. So these are the simulation result. This is the grid current waveform from inverter to grid. The current is flowing. As you can see this is pure sinusoidal. So this is for 3 kilowatt and this is for 5 kilowatt. So current is increasing. So this mode of operation is also called current constant current mode constant current mode. So in this mode the current which is flowing from inverter to the grid this is constant. You are controlling you are generating some ID reference from the P reference giving to the uh, this summer block. This is the actual ID which is, which is calculated from the actual sensor. Here PI controller is there and then you are getting some reference signal. This is for same ID similarly IQ star same thing you are using PI controller 
and with the help of two signals you are generating the this reference sign then you are generating with this reference signs and repeating sequence the pwm pulses for the three phase vsi okay as already i discussed so uh, this is another control technique in grid connected mode only here this is three phase inverter filter inductor filter is there pll is there pll is mandatory to integrate this inverter to the grid because once you know the uh, grid frequency then only you can transfer the power from uh, inverter to grid to transfer the power the logic behind transfer is simple if here some voltage this is a transmission line inductance jx so active power you can calculate v1 v2 by x into sine delta minus zero so active power is directly proportional to delta so this delta should be lead from this power angle of the grid similarly this is the logic for transfer of active power similarly reactive power will be transferred this v1 should be greater than to the v1 should be greater than v2 to transfer the reactive power from inverter to utility grid so this is the concept behind this power transfer power transfer from inverter to grid so this is a simple technique i am calculating the power p and q i am getting p star and q star directly power controller is there pi controller is there and i am getting ma and delta so i am generating the reference signal v equal to ma sin omega t plus delta and then i am comparing this signal with the repeating sequence to generate the pwm pulses for the three phase inverter and i am using here this three lag inverter this simple three lag inverter each lag for each phase so here dc is there and this is for a b and c so this is three phase vsi so as you can see this technique is taking much time to be settled down in the steady state but in previous technique you can see the settling time of the current it it is being settled at very high speed compared to this technique so to convert the voltage and current into dq0 it is very useful because as you know this pi controller works only for dc quantity okay that's why you are getting the nice response in this abc to dq0 technique or you can say it is rotating reference frame technique in the grid connected mode next is drop control of two parallel connected inverters in islanding mode so second mode is islanding mode so in this mode two inverters are connected to feed this parallel connected load or you can say both the inverters are connected in parallelly here it is a dc source inverter 1 inverter 2 this is the filter lc filter is there and load is connected this point is called pcc point of common coupling so if the rating of both the inverter are same and if you have to transfer if you have to share the power between two inverters for example this inverter should share 40% and this inverter should share 60% or you can say if this inverter is sharing 30% and another inverter should share 70% so if you want to share the power different different power percentage with the help of drop control so such type of technique is called drop control technique of parallel connected transformer it is similar technique which we used to uh, sharing the power of parallel connected generators so same concept i am using here so its control technique is 
this is the inverter this is the filter lc filter and again this is the load i am calculating the power with the help of v and i naught so i am getting this p and q passing through the low pass filter so p and q then droop controller is there so for droop controller i am giving some feedback signal later i will tell you then i am able to generating the uh, v and omega then with with the help of vod and omega giving to the voltage controller then actual voltage then it is generating the uh, spwm for this single phase inverter so first see this power calculation you know how to calculate power for three phase system in dq0 reference frame there is a formula to calculate p and q pass this power through the low pass filter this is the transfer function for this low pass filter so you will get so omega c this is the cut off frequency for low pass filter so droop control to get omega and vod so this is the frequency and power curve and this is the voltage and reactive power curve because this power active power depends on the frequency or power angle and this reactive power depends on the voltage or voltage difference so this is the rated frequency at some rated power so as the power is increasing load is increasing its frequency will be reduced at some droop 5% or 3% you can select this droop so this is the operating frequency at some operating power similarly this is the rated voltage at rated uh, reactive power as the load will absorb the more reactive power this rated voltage at the load side it will reduce so this is some rated voltage or operating voltage so this is the op at this reactive power this is the uh, voltage load voltage so based on this droop characteristics you can change the sharing of power p and q of both parallel connected inverter so this is the basic concept behind this power sharing in the islanding mode of microgrid so again these are the parameters which i took for the simulation of the islanding mode microgrid load voltage 230 no load frequency 50 hertz filter inductance capacitance dc link voltage 400 volt 1 milli henry line inductance switching frequency 15 kilohertz and these are the droop coefficient mp1 mp2 and these are the again voltage droop coefficient these are the frequency droop coefficient if you will change the value of droop coefficient then you will be able to change the power sharing of two parallel connected inverters because the inverters which you, you are connected in parallel both are identical means if both have same rating so how to share the power so you can share the power based on the droop coefficient so you can see the oh, simulation result for inverter 2 it is sharing this much of current and inverter 1 it is sharing this much of current so you can see here they are sharing the common load at different load sharing it is at low load compared to the inverter 1 inverter 1 is at high load so you can observe here active power of inverter 2 is 8 kilowatt and for inverter 1 it is 12 kilowatt so total is 20 kilowatt load 8 kilowatt is shared by inverter 2 and 12 kilowatt is shared by inverter 1 with the help of group control so here for up to 5 second inverter 2 is sharing 4 kilowatt and inverter 1 is sharing 6 kilowatt so they are sharing the different load for different time period you can observe here if the load is increasing frequency steady state frequency is also reducing you can see the uh, graph of reactive power also reactive power is also being shared 
at this time period you can observe here 4 kva and 6 kva 3 kva and 4 kva so the conclusion is in the simulation result desired power is being fed into the grid connected mode from grid microgrid to the grid after few seconds i change the power from 3 kilowatt to 5 kilowatt so it is working nicely next thing controlling of inverter in rotating reference frame or you can say dq0 reference frame gives better controlling compared to the another technique and fast response we observe the waveform is being settled at fast and the another thing the simulation two inverters are connected in parallel feeding power to a common load but they are sharing the power according to the droop coefficient so inverter 1 is sharing 60% and inverter 2 is sharing 40% but the output voltage and frequency of both the inverter is same okay power can be shared by pq mode and in islanding mode power is being shared by the droop control of inverter so these are the references thank you